and already. We're at the 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships, which took place in Johnson City, Tennessee. This is round one, part one at Wing Deer Park Disc Golf Course. Uh, fit in the uh, pins for the original pins there. Uh, Prodigy did bring green, skipped over to the left side. Now we got Valerie Jenkins on the tee. This whole, it doesn't look like it on camera, but it is directly up there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's a perfect shot yeah, right there. Yeah, that is absolutely perfect. Wing Deer is one of those courses, if you don't have the drive you want, your approach game definitely has to be on point. Yes. Great birdie. Fitting it even. And we're moving down to hole number two. It's 246 feet. It's uh, kind of just a straight shot. These ladies are just going to be maybe going for a hyzer line or the straight shot down through there. Looks like Val's opted for a bit of the hyzer shot. No shame in that shot right there. Like we said in the front nine video, this is the first time Danielle's ever been filmed, so I think some of the nerves were getting to her and playing with some of the high caliber players like Val, Vanessa. Val with a tap in three as well. Really four over for Kona and nine over for Danielle. Moving on to hole number three. To, uh, this is the final hole on the back nine. 280 feet. Uh, just a soft putter or mid-range shot down the middle. Oh, sneaky. Mm, very sneaky. A little bit of roll, but it sits down. Man, look like slightly aggressive with that, but not too much because there is a bit of a drop off behind. Mm. Oh, Val was looking to put that one in. Valerie going to card the same. We're starting out on 385 foot, hole number four. First on the tee, we've got Discraft sponsored Valerie Jenkins. She's just a four time world champion, no big deal. Yeah, that's all, just four time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Valerie's gonna go with a turnover shot here. The uh, sinkhole on the right side of those trees is uh, OB along the entire fairway, so they're gonna wanna try and stay left. But the basket is located on the right. Her par. Valerie just looking to lay it up. Take a par and move on to the next hole. Here comes Valerie. No problems for her. Valerie off, uh, up one right now. Moving on to hole number five. It's 277 feet. It plays uh, right to left a little bit. It, it's straight, but you do want to go around some trees on the uh, right down the middle of the fairway so you kind of want to throw one out to the right side and let it fade back in just like Val's done here Great shot. Mm -hmm. she's gonna be looking at a putt she like you know they still got to be nervous this being the USWDGC this is the first round so to make a putt like that that early that's got to put some confidence in your head Oh, uh, looks like she might have been a little bit left side there. Unfortunate spit out. She's going to take a three. This this weekend, he did catch Cam for us. Hung out with us all weekend, so huge shout out to you. Hole number six uh, here is uh, 280 feet. It plays uphill, so it plays quite a bit longer than that. I would say about 320 to 350. That's a great shot right there. Valerie with the longest drive here. She's looking to put this in. Trying to card a birdie. Dang some strokes early. Oh, just off the top. Maybe a little bit of USWDGC jitters there. Oh, definitely. She makes good and walks on with her par. Love to see how Valerie... 
Moving on to hole number seven, it's 301 feet. Basically the fairway goes downhill and then up to the right and straight uphill. So it's definitely an interesting fairway. You want to do exactly what Val did just <laughs> right there. There's our buddy right. Steve Frank there. <laughs> <laughs> that went up, gonna take a bogey. Val with a really good drive here. This is actually for a birdie too. Let's see what she can do. Mm. Mm, almost. This course on occasion. And uh, this is one of the holes that I'm very happy to take a par and move along <laughs> with. I wanted to say before. Moving on to hole number eight. It's a 426 foot par three. It's kind of a straight shot which plays downhill so it doesn't quite doesn't play quite as long as 426 basically what you want to do is throw one to the right side and let it fade as far as you can uh, these ladies are making this approach game look so simple <laughs> Valerie obviously no exception for band and Val tapping in for par 3 as well uh, the lead of this card here I'm not sure what's going on on the other cards but we're moving on to hole number 9 it's a 206 foot shot uh, this is one that I would say these ladies are thinking is a must get they're going to want to throw a uh, backhand turnover or a, a flick it's like Val's down there she did end up on the right side it closes her eye when she's putting and doing uh, short approach shots like that kind of uh, nailing in the target with one eye. I kind of like that. It's like a sharpshooter look. Definitely. Mm, Val almost, almost. cards the birdie. So Vanessa and Val tapping in theirs. Kona and Ashley sitting at one over. Moving on to hole number 10. No surprise to see Val going with just a soft turnover shot here. Beautiful shot. Right side. Valerie also looking for a birdie. Great birdie right there. This hole is definitely not like Val sitting at one down now, moving on to hole 11, 253 feet. It uh, plays a little bit uh, uphill. Uh, there's a drop off right after the tee, but on down in the fairway, it's uphill. And uh, basically, just a little bit of a hyzer shot. Uh, the basket you can see is right behind that tree, right in the middle of the fairway. Standards. Like Valerie's trying to run this one. Sets it up for an easy par. You can definitely get in your head with these tight fairways. If you look at the uh, distances on a scorecard without seeing it, I'll still sitting at one down. Moving on to hole number 12. This is a light pin down in the bottom of the field. Of course, they're not playing it for this tournament. Val looking for a little bit of turn. She gets it, but then actually goes long. Her make her shot coming back from there. Hey, there's Nate Doss. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this entire round we had Nate and uh, Seppo walking around uh -huh. with us. So it was really cool to see some of these higher calibers. Val lining up for a par. Good putt there, she makes good. On hole number 13, it's 270 foot. It goes uh, kind of straight, and being on top of that hill is where you want to be. 
And now we have Valerie Jenkins, four-time world champion, sponsored by Discraft. No surprise to see Val going with the turnover shot here as well. She's really great at these tunnel shots like this. Let's see what she can do. Oh, looks like a went shot. She went on the right side. Looks like Val's going with a uh, turnover shot, patent pending shot. Oh. Oh no. We're going to be carding a large number here. Looks like Val's going to be going with the forehand roller. She has a putt from there. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if she tried to lay that one up or if she was trying to run that one. Maybe it stuck on her finger a little bit. Great putt from Val. Very good putt. You see Zach Melton. Shout out to him in the background <laughs> there. Uh, that's not one of the easier holes on the course. So, moving on to hole 14. Actually, hits a tree. Valerie next to T. This is exactly the kind of shot we're used to seeing Val execute perfectly, and she's done it again. Yeah. <laughs> on the, get on the birdie train. Val looking for a birdie. Great putt. Valerie now sitting at one down. Moving on to hole 15, one of the longer holes. A little bit of a thick area. It looks like she's going to have some awkward footing. But hopefully she can get up and down from there. This one actually is a par four during this tournament. So they've got a little bit of wiggle room there. Looks like Val going for the straight shot down the middle as well. I guess that would be your only play here unless you wanted to try and get a roll. Valerie looking for a soft turnover shot. Pretty much one of our bread and butter shots I would say. Beautiful. Absolutely. Valerie also looking for the birdie three. No problems for her. Down that hole. Val sitting it two down and Vanessa now at one down. Moving on to hole. Unless she kept rolling on down into the woods there. You definitely have to hit that angle right on this roller. You get a lot of power behind it. Looks like Valerie's going to be going with the air shot. And when you can throw distance like that, why worry about that <laughs> roller? <laughs> well, and we finally made it up to Valerie's drive. <laughs> What you want to do is go around the outside of those exactly like she's done. Valerie is playing this whole top of the cage. I ain't seen that. Mm -hmm. Very good run there. Valerie's drive or second shot actually landed a little further out than it looks from the other camera angle. She does have a putt. Mm. Mm. Just a little bit short. Hit a little more right. Uh, or if that one actually just kind of spit out. Moving on to hole number 17, 200. Oh executed absolutely perfectly. If she can convert with that tap in, which I'm sure she can, <laughs> that will be four straight birdies for Vanessa. She's definitely making a push. Valerie going with that turnover as well. Hmm. She hit behind the tree over here and got caught up a little bit. That was a great shot. I love seeing that one flying through the air. Awkward sense from down there. Very awkward and downhill. I hate to see that. Valerie for par. Oh, 
Oh, another one. No love from this basket. Absolutely none. And unfortunately, Val is going to be card in a four here. After that unfortunate spit out card. And uh, Valerie is a two down. Moving on to hole 18. She's going to have some interesting footing there to try and get up to the pin. Valerie going with a turnover shot as well. And that is looking absolutely perfect. That is one of the best drives I've ever seen on this hole. She's happy about that one. <laughs> Valerie also looking for a birdie too here. Oh, everybody wanted her to make it. Danielle tapping in for four as well. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another ladder too, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.